A blessed day to everyone. Our topic for today's daily devotional video message, pinamagatan po natin regarding idleness. At ang readings po natin ay magagaling sa 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verses 6 hanggang 13. I'll be reading from the NIV or the New International Version. Kung saan ang sabi, In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we command you, brothers and sisters, to keep away from every believer who is idle and disruptive and does not live according to the teaching you received from us. For you yourselves know how you ought to follow our example. We were not idle when we were with you, nor did we eat anyone's food without paying for it. On the contrary, we worked night and day, laboring and toiling so that we would not be a burden to any of you. We did this not because we don't have the right to such help, but in order to offer ourselves as a model for you to imitate. For even when we were with you, we gave you this rule. The one who is unwilling to work shall not eat. We hear that some among you are idle and disruptive. They are not busy. They are busy bodies. Such people we command and urge in the Lord Jesus Christ to settle down and earn the food they eat. And as for you, brothers and sisters, never tire of doing what is good. Na mula po sa mga verses na binasa po natin sa araw na ito, meron pong mga paalala sa atin concerning idleness or mas kilala po natin bilang katamaran. Unang-una, ang message ito sa atin, huwag tayong maging tamad. May mga araw na natutukso tayo na maging tamad. At meron sa atin, bata pa lang at hanggang sa pagtanda, eh sa totoo lang, tamad. Tanggapin po natin ang message na ito uh, constructively and positively, na huwag tayong maging tamad. At just in case, halimbawa, Uh, nakaka-recover ka na sa pagiging tamad kahit paano, medyo nagsisipag-sipag ka na pero feeling mo medyo mahina ka pa rin at madaling mahawa sa katamaran ng iba eh maglalayo ka muna dun sa mga ganong klaseng mga tao dahil mahirap na eh nakaka-recover ka na sa katamaran at kahit paano nga nagsisipag-sipag ka na mahirap na gamitin pa ng kaaway yung ibang mga tao upang mabalik tayo dun sa dun dating gawa What else? Na kung halimbawa Medyo matibay-tibay na rin tayo, maganda na ang ating patutuo sa bagay na yan Kung napapalibutan din tayo ng ilang mga kapatiran na tamad Kung lab natin sila, e pagsabihin natin sila in a constructive and positive way Kwento natin yung kwento natin sa kanila, yung patutuo natin na dati ganyan ka din Pero ngayon, by the grace of God, e masipag-sipag na And finally, kung halimbawa, e nagdere-derecho ka na sa kasipagan Pero hindi mo pa rin nakikita yung mga results na ninanais mo Ano ang Uh, instruction sa atin ng ating binasa never tire in doing what is good steady ka lang, magdere-derecho ka lang at darating ang araw, makikita mo yung fruit ng iyong kasipagan let us pray aming Diyos at aming Ama, salamat po sa mensahe na napakinggan po namin ngayon sa pamagitan ng iyong mga salita reminding us na hindi kami dapat maging tamad tulungan niyo po kami Panginoon na maging masipag at maging instrumento kami upang ma-inspirang iba na maging masipag din. At sa mga nakikinig nito ngayon na masipag na, pero hindi pa rin nila nakikita yung fruit na kanilang labor, may they persevere, may they not give up, may they continue to be patient, give them the strength, and increase their faith and their hope, Lord God, in your grace and goodness to our lives. Sa darating din ng araw, makikita rin namin ang fruit ng aming kasipagan, ang fruit ng aming labor. Bless your people today as you pray. In Jesus' name, Amen.